Welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to select your optimal lag in case if you want to carry out an AR process analysis or even an ARDL autoregressive distributed lag model analysis. How do you um, select your optimal lag on data? So the first thing is to import your data set. In this case, I am importing um, a data set had already created for uh, that contains the food prices, daily food prices in India. Now, if you open this data set, uh, you would see that the column date is in strings, as you can see, in, in string format, as you can see, it's colored red. So we need to uh, change it to uh, date format. Uh, let Technically, you are telling Stata that you want this column to be your date. So what do you do then? Uh, I have a code here which is very simple. So what you simply do, for example, is to generate, um, tell data that you want to generate a new data set called whatever I want to call it. I call it temp date. And I am using this function. There's a function called date in Stata. And I'm telling Stata that it should recognize this my uh, date variable as a date, uh, as a date. But if you look at it, if you, if I open the when I open the data set, you saw that the date, the order of the date is in day, month, then year. So if yours is not in that order, then you need to arrange it. Maybe if yours is in month, day, year, then it will be MDY. Uh, so whatever the other, but this is the order of my own date. And then I enter this, so it has created this new data set now. If you look at this new data set, it's in numbers. So Stata simply converted this string date to numbers uh, based on data member based based on stata memory for uh, converting dates to number oh then i'll just ask stata again to uh, simply uh, just convert this particular new variable into date again so it's like um reconverting this new variable into date again uh, so this is how you do it actually reconvert it into dates date, then I have a slash, then this is month, then I have a slash, then I have my years as a four uh, with four numbers. So that's what that means. So and this is the variable I want to convert to date uh, in a standard format, which is this particular you know variable. So I, I do that. All right. So all that is done now. If you look at this, you find out that my temp date now is the same as my date. The only difference is that it's now in a date format and no longer in strings like this. As you can see, the color is, is black, but here it's um, red. OK, now for I, I can just then drop, um, drop my date variable since I don't need them again. OK, so how do I now? think about the, how do I select my optimal lab? Uh, you could use uh, you, you use a function in Stata known as VASOC. VASOC then pick up the variable you want to, you know, determine the optimal lag in terms of an AR process. And let me choose rice prices. And then I just, oh, sorry. Wow, it tells me that I've not set I've not set, um, I did, Stata doesn't know that I want to do a time series analysis. So I have to set the dates in Stata so that Stata recognizes that I want to you know, do some time series analysis. And I do that with T set, T set, and what's, what the variable that contains my timeline, my date is temp dates. Temp date. So, Stata recognizes that that okay, this is now a time variable and it's a daily, it's a daily variable. So I, I I'll just redo this fast up now, uh, and then rise. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. So here we go. So now based on these different criterion, you could see that the selected lag is four, uh, based on the AIC, the H, the FB, PE, the HQIC, the SBI, and even the 
and log likelihood, the the and the, uh, the, the the degree of freedom, and so it's it's four. Uh, but one thing you may also want to do because this is a this is a daily time series. Maybe four can be quite to uh, a short number of lag. So you want to increase, set a maximum number of lag and allow data to choose which of these uh, number of lags uh, will be optimal. So what you can do in this sense is to repeat your VASOC price or whatever price series. And then you had um, uh, a maximum lag. And then you can have, let's say, let, let me have 14 and run it again. Okay, so you see now, when I had 14 and run it again, you see, um, apart from SB, I choose 13 as the optimal number of lags, but the other criterion choose 14, not four any longer. You see, you, you, so you, you have to understand from an econometric perspective, depending on the frequency of your data, as well as the number of observation you have, what is the optimal number of maximum lag to set? To give you uh, an adequate and an optimal uh, lag selection. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is how to select um, an optimal lag for an AR process or for an ARDL process. I hope you find this informative. See you. Bye.